Okay, welcome back everybody. So again, Eugene from uh, CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise Services. Um, in our previous video, we spoke about um, generally types of business uh, operations and how to do them. Uh, today, I would like to emphasize our attention on uh, sole proprietorship to talk more in detail about benefits, drawbacks, and um, how to make a decision technically. What are the questions that you have to ask to yourself, yourself and give an answer? and based on them to decide if you want to do it as a sole proprietorship. Um, before I start uh, with a sole proprietorship, I'll just say what I didn't say in our previous video and that um, I'm not going to talk much about partnership. As you could already uh, understand from my previous um, video, I'm not a fan of this type of business operations. I don't think it, anyone can benefit from it. So we'll concentrate mostly on the two types as a sole proprietorship or as a um, Corporation. Along the way, I'll uh, give maybe a short video with explanation how you can find yourself in a very, very big troubles doing it without proper registering or through the partnership, which, as I said, I don't like. Um, so, sole proprietorship. What it is, how does it work, how does it benefit us? Sole proprietorship is technically anyone and everyone can be by starting their business on their own. You can wake up in the morning and you decide you want to sell mugs with nice kittens on them over the Amazon, at shows, in the stores, whatever works for you uh, without doing any special registrations, any special formalities. Uh, this way you will be working as your own business and the business and business entrepreneurs would be the same. Um, what it means is that from the positive side that would be extremely easy to do. It doesn't require anything you can just simply start doing business uh, making money um, you don't have to register anything you don't have to inform anyone that you're doing that the only thing that you really um, should do is keep all the records because at the end of the year you will have to report your income as a business personal income for the CRA and see how you deal with the taxes but that's the subject for another video um, if you want to do business under your own name, you don't even have to register a name, you already have it registered in your passport. If you want to give another name to a business, then in Ontario you have a very simple process, not costly at all, uh, for registering a master business license, which technically gives you a certificate confirming that you operating under a certain name. Uh, that certificate is uh, official, acceptable by banks, and technically would prove if I pay you by check, writing your business name on the check, that the business name and you is the same person and the check would be deposited into your business account. Um, the process costs $60 and at the beginning of your business activities, that is technically the only expense that you have to do in order to start it. So very simple, straightforward, not expensive. Um, the additional benefit of doing business as a sole proprietor is of course because you're the same person as an uh, individual in the business, your tax reporting would be one. You will look at your whole set of income, either you get additional salary from, from your main place of work or you don't have any other income, you combine all the uh, revenues that you generated from your sale of mugs and you deduct certain expenses recognizable by the CRA. My advice, do it with a good accountant that will advise and will plan your operations together with you to make sure that your taxes are paid properly, uh, legally, but in the most efficient way. And we'll talk about it and we probably down the road will have some of the accountants visiting our studio to talk about uh, options and how to do it right. Uh, but again, the process is simple. One reporting under your name, under your social insurance number, and usually would cost just a little bit cheaper than do it for a corporation. Not much though. So these are the main benefits. Um, along with that, being a sole proprietor brings certain um, liabilities. And liabilities we generate through every single activity in our life. When we drive a car, we're liable for following the law and not making accidents, preventing accidents, preventing damages to other people. Same thing with business. So in as innocent activity as this painting and selling marks could be, there are certain liabilities even if the, in this type of activities. For example, what if you use a paint that is toxic and could be dangerous for people's health? 
what if the Mac that you use isn't quality in, enough and pieces of it would fall off during someone drinking coffee and making person choke. Um, these are just simple examples, but, but the point is those liabilities are generated by your business and because you are your business, they are generated by you. That means that if I was a person who got damaged by your actions, I would be suing you personally and directly. Which technically means if I win, no matter how big the claim, the claim is, I can go after you personally to get my money in accordance with the court order. And what it means is that I can arrest your house, your salary, your bank accounts, uh, garnish money from, from third parties, and depending on the type of the damages, you would be risking anything and everything you have uh, doing the business through sole proprietorship. So the bottom line in these uh, considerations is simple. Uh, I usually would advise my, my clients or friends or whoever asks about how to do the business, do sole proprietorship only in a very limited set of circumstances. A, when you are not expecting too wide of an activity. So you want to do something small, I would call it hobby. Uh, you want to do it part-time, after hours, weekends, um, working alone without bringing other participants such as investors, uh, lenders, partners, um, then sole proprietorship could be a good thing. It's, it's a very simple way to do, cheap way, doesn't require any special knowledge and will give you a better um, chance of doing something small, simple, uh, in, a, in a very simple way. Um, in our next video we'll talk about the corporation and when we'll compare it to the sole proprietorship you will see uh, how the drawbacks of one are being resolved by the benefits of the other, um, which considerations should affect you in making the decision to incorporate, and some other things that could be interesting uh, for each of the decisions because there are so many factors that are involved, taxes, liabilities, financial relations, um, future growth, bringing partners in, um, diversifying your operations, all these questions can affect your decision how to start the business. So follow us, subscribe to our channel, leave your comments, leave your questions, we're here to answer them happily and um, I hope to see you again in a couple of days with a new video about the incorporation. See you soon.